It's Sunday, baby. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and I hope it's beautiful in your neighborhood. I wasn't on the air yesterday. I, uh, I, I meant to do my show yesterday afternoon. Uh, I took the time off uh, to watch the Army-Navy game, and uh, I want to give a big shout out to all the Army fans. Excellent job. Y'all want a, want a great game. It was a very good game. Uh, Navy sang first. Army sang second. And for those of you that don't know, when it comes to the Army-Navy game, you want to sing second. And, uh, and so we're real proud of Army. They did an excellent job. And uh, as I'm reminded all the time, it's one team out there on that football field. There's two branches, and there's a big rivalry. But that's one team out there on that field, just like every one of them in, the, uh, in our branches of military. They are all one team. And I'm proud of them. So what's going on? Well, the shit, there's lots of shit going on in the news that we can talk about. Uh, Mueller's getting hot and heavy. Uh, Donnie Jr.'s got problems. There's, there's shit going on. But I'm not here to talk about that today. Today, I wanted to take the time to answer some things that have been put to me, some questions and comments that have been made to me, and I, I want to... I want to speak my mind on it, and uh, so you'll know where I stand. For the first one, a lot of y'all know exactly where I stand. I'm very proud of this shirt. Equal. E oh. Hi, Norman. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Sue. Uh, equal. That means we're all equal. All of us. White, black, brown, gay, straight. Transgender. We're all equal. That's what that is. Equal Rights Commission. Equal Rights Campaign. It was sent to me by a fan. And uh, and that has not always been the case. It's been a bitter struggle. All our history, I guess. To bring our rights. The rights that are guaranteed to us in the Constitution. To all of us. Uh, you know, women. Women did that used to have. You know, they're, they're, it's a powerful movement going on now. With the Me Too. But there was a time when they weren't allowed to vote. Shut your mouth. Get to the side. Let men do this. Women's suffrage. And the Bible was used to, to combat that. You know, the Lord says, uh, cleave unto your husband and all that shit. So there was a bitter struggle to bring women's suffrage to, to, to nutrition. So women would have the right to vote. So they could speak their mind. It took a long time even after the law for, for women to uh, get the full power of their voice. Civil rights? You bet. It was a bitter fight. Are you shitting me? Look at it. All down through our history, it was a bitter fight. From the time we first brought slaves into this country on ships to now, it's been a bitter struggle for them. And the same as it goes for gay people. Right now, we're, we're, we're involved in a, in a battle for gay rights, for equal marriage. That law was passed, and, 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 and they're still trying to, to tear it down. I was written by a guy named Richard LaFrance. He wrote to me and uh, let me know how he felt. And uh, he was so passionate about it that he actually put that message, copied it and pasted it and put it on the wall. So we all could read it. And Richard was pretty pissed off because... Well, a lot of reasons. We all are. We pay taxes. But Richard was a little more pissed off precisely because he is a Vietnam veteran and a lifelong gay man and has paid his taxes into the society that did everything they could to deny him his rights. And it was the same thing for black men when they went to Vietnam. They fight for their country but come back here and get treated like shit, like second-class citizens with Jim Crow laws all over the place still and all that shit. Yeah, it's been a struggle. But Richard, when he spoke out, it, it made me feel proud. Because it, 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 is, it is utterly ridiculous to, uh, to deny him that the rights that we all have, that we all have, that we all should enjoy, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In our Constitution, it gives all of us the right to that. But not for some. It's been a, it's been a struggle. 
It's been a struggle. And there are those amongst our midst that still think that way. Oh, Judge Roy Moore down in Alabama just told us the other day that the greatest thing about America was when we had slavery. What a disgusting thought that is. But people have that thought. And there's still people today that fight the gay marriage issue. Right now, the Supreme Court is reviewing a case for that guy out in Colorado who says he doesn't want to make a cake for a gay couple. And my simple solution to that is close your stinking shop and go back to your house and make your cakes in your own kitchen and then you could, you could sell them to anybody you wish to. You can discriminate against anybody you wish to. But when you opened a public store, when you go into the public domain and you open a shop, then no, you're not allowed to discriminate who you sell your things to. You know, there's people in the Christian faith that don't believe the Jewish faith is a clean faith. They're not getting into heaven because the only way to heaven is by the Son. So you don't believe in Jesus Christ, well, you're not getting into heaven. That's a fundamental right. Would those people be justified in putting a sign in their window saying, we do not serve Jewish people? Hell no. Hell no, it's not. There are religious people who believe that interracial marriage is a sin. Can they put a sign in their window saying that we will not serve interracial couples? No, they can't do that. And you can't discriminate against somebody to make a cake. Your artistic expression, excuse me, your artistic expression is to make a cake. How you express that, I, I, I guess that's up to you. If you make a lousy cake, I guess nobody would come to see you. Nobody wants your business. Or people would boycott your ass for being a jerk the way you're doing now. That's what I wish. I wish people would just stand outside your store and make your customers go through a gauntlet of crap to get one of your stupid cakes. Like I said, just the same way the religious people go after abortion clinics and stuff like that because it's against their religious values. Religious values doesn't give you the right to discriminate freely against anybody. You know? That's how come we had women's suffrage. That's how come we had the civil rights issue, the, 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 the battle that we've had for civil rights for the black community for so many years. And it's disgusting that Richard LaFrance has to pay his taxes into a system that tries to defeat him at every turn. That's not the American way. It's not. The second person I wanted to address was Annette Corbin, because these two are tied together, because it's the two things you don't never supposed to talk about at Thanksgiving. Don't bring up politics and don't bring up religion. Everything will be fine. But I'm not that way. Annette Corbin wrote a comment and, and because I made her feel bad because of her religion. And you all know very well I get off a lot of times, very angrily, on the evangelical right, who I believe have taken their Christian values and thrown them in the binjo ditch down there and uh, rolled in them. You know, it, if you don't know what a binjo ditch is, it ain't pretty. Anyway, it made me feel bad or hurt that I make her feel bad because I don't, I don't hate all Christians. I. My wife's family is loaded with them. We have several preachers on her side of the family, and they've had, they've had me for 40 years. It only is until recently that uh, I've expressed my voice that things have changed a little bit. But I love every, I love every one of them. And, uh, you know, my mother-in-law was probably the greatest example I ever saw of a Christian. She's bound to a wheelchair. But there wasn't a day that woman didn't smile and praise Jesus. And I was glad to be around her. I was glad to listen to her. She urged me to go to church so many times. And I did a few times. And, uh, and enjoyed myself. Don't get me wrong. I like to hear people sing and get happy. And, uh, but I don't share in, in the religious view that, uh, that they have. I, I, I just don't buy into the whole scenario. I'm a science kind of guy. I believe in the Big Bang. I love science. I love to look at the universe and just wonder. 
just how far that goes and we all know it never ends and and it's like the mind it, it, it can go on forever thinking shit but uh i don't agree with it but i have been in small churches i have been in i have seen christian values come through i've seen uh I've seen them step up and help the poor and feed the sick and uh, or help the sick and feed the poor. And uh, that is the good part of religion to me. That is what I wish they would all practice the way it used to be in my book. And, uh, but nowadays it, it, it's not. And nowadays it, it, it's, uh, they want to bring the religion into the politics and that's where I draw the line. I don't, I don't allow that shit. You keep your religion in your church and we'll keep the law in the court. That's it. You say, oh, well, our laws are based on our Judeo-Christian values. And remember now, half the Christians out there do not believe in the Judeo part of that state. But uh, I look at it as we're founded on basic human values. The, 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 the things that we're all entitled to. The value that we hold dear that all men are created equal. That includes women. And it doesn't matter what color they are or who they, what they, who they love or what kind of clothes they wear. It doesn't matter. It's for all of us. So I get upset when religious people try to bring their morality into the government. Because it doesn't work. You can't legislate morality. People are going to do what they're going to do. And they're going to do it because they feel good about it. I've always kind of looked at the Republican Party in the Democratic Party in the religious terms as being the Republicans being the Old Testament damnation and hell of fire. If you don't do this or that, locusts will come. And nowadays it's hurricanes. You know, God's going to kill you from that. He's going to send a hurricane in there because of all the gay people. That's bullshit. And it's, it, it, it hurts people when, when that kind of talk is when you're up there at the pulpit demanding that gays will burn in a sea of fire. That's disgusting. That's, that's pitiful. If you believe that, I feel sorry for you. But it's your right to believe that. Democrats, I kind of look like as well, they're the New Testament. They're like, uh, you got to help your fellow man, feed the poor, leave a portion of your crops to, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, and a message of hope and renewal and, and uh, yeah. So to me, it, it, that's the kind of way I look at religion amongst the polit polit political views. And like I said before, if you let that keep going, pretty soon you're not going to have a, a, a Methodist church or a Baptist church. You're going to have a, a Democratic church and a Republican church. And that's where it's going to go if you allow churches to start politicking from the pulpit. It's disgusting. Society will deem what is right. What's that saying? I don't have it little part of it is that if you give American people the truth, you can rely on them to make a wise decision. And beer, Abraham Lincoln, he threw in, if you give them beer and, and the truth, they'll make the wise choice. And that's what we've done through our history. We vote on things. We, we, we bring laws. Your law might be based on a, on a Judeo-Christian value. But when it hits the law, does it pass the test of the Constitution? Because regardless of how you feel, the Bible is not the defining document in this country. It is the Constitution. And because Richard France, La France has to fight for his rights, because somebody on the Christian right thinks he doesn't get them. It's not up to your religion to determine who gets the rights in this country and who does not. It's not up to your religion. It is up to our Constitution. So Richard shouldn't have to fight for those values. And I don't believe that Annette Corbin fights against that. I believe uh, she's a Democrat who believes in inclusion. Jesus says, turn the other cheek, love the sinner, but hate the sin, or whatever you want to call it. You can do that. You don't have to be gay to, to like a gay person. Are you stupid? If, if, if that's the case, you're losing out on a great friend. And, and I have never been ashamed to be in the company of either a gay person, a black person, or a religious person. I've been around them all. And I enjoy all of their company. And I don't see the problems. 
But anyway, I, I, I'm getting all tangled up. I wanted to save a few minutes because I got a few things to share. I've been getting mail, baby. I've been getting Christmas cards. And uh, I got one the other day. And I want to share them with you all real quick. This, this one is from, uh, this is, this is from Esther Ramirez. Esther Ramirez, and she's from Virginia. And uh, this card, actually, she's, uh, she makes these cards. And it says, uh, a Richmond, Virginia, from a Ri Richmond, Virginia, a Blue Dot Ramirez family. Wish you happy holidays and a happy new year. One without the Trump administration. She makes those cards so she can put anything she wants. And I like that. Uh, Esther, without the Trump administration. It comes in a beautiful card. So uh, send out, dot, sendoutcards.com is Esther. She sent this. And she also sent a little plate with a brownie on it. A little brownie for me to have a snack. And the plate, Mama said if I drop this, she's going to hit me. It says, wherever you are, it is your friends who make your world. And it's a beautiful little plate. It's got a map of the world back there on the back of it. So no matter where you are in the world, it's your friends that make your world. So, And I'm going to eat that brownie after a while. I've got to be real careful with it. But Esther Ramirez, thank you very much, darling. And uh, got another one. And I, this one is from, from Jade Rango. She's up in New Jersey. And we've known Jade for a long time. Jade uh, it's just walking in a winter wonderland, and there's a beautiful car with some sentiments. It says, hope your holidays sparkle. Jade is the person that before I turned on this camera and started sharing this to all the world out here, I wrote my thoughts and stuff, and Jade was the one that told me, John, you need to, you need to turn your camera on, leave it on, and keep talking. So Jade is the one that encouraged me to start this. So y'all give a good thumbs up to Jade Rango because we appreciate her very much and she was always been a supporter of mine. And the other one we got, we got three of them. And uh, this one is from, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I can't read that way. Oh, Donna Holman. And uh, she is from uh, Jacksonville, Arkansas. Arkansas and uh, beautiful card there with frosty on the front of it there it says warmest holiday wishes and all of the special moments this season Berlin brings and uh, like I said the other day I love getting Christmas cards I don't believe in the story but you can send me a card that says Merry Christmas we got a, we got a nativity and all that stuff we we enjoy the holidays very much and uh, so thank you all for those cards we appreciate them we're gonna have a little uh, collage up there of all our blue dot cards uh family cards kind of got cut down a little bit so i got my new family sending his cards and i appreciate it so much and uh anyway the, the news well i can wait till tomorrow but, but these issues of, of equal rights for all of us richard should not have to fight for equal rights he served this country that's what bothers me a lot of times about shit we have people in Mexico who fought in the Vietnam War who are not American citizens. We have soldiers that have served our country in combat who are not allowed to be citizens. And my thought has always been if you serve this country, you are a citizen. That's it. You outrank anybody else in my book. And uh, it takes a special breed to step up and, and enter the military and put your name on that check for up to and including your life. And, uh, Put your name on that check, baby. It, it means something. And Richard paid that price. And Richard should not have to fight for a damn thing in this country. And uh, Richard, I'm very proud of you. On your wall, you're very active. I see that. Uh, you make me proud for standing up for who you are. And, uh, and, and Annette also makes me proud to stand up for your Christian values and to live by them. I don't have a problem with that, dear. I'm very happy for you. And, and Christians, I, I think, have something I don't have. And that's the faith of, 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 a, of a better life after this and, and how you're going to see the family and all that. Those are dreams I envy as being an atheist. And, and, and so I'm a little bit jealous of that thought when it crosses my mind. And, uh, but I don't begrudge anybody your religion. Practice it the best way you know how. Help, like this New Testament says. Don't go to the Old Testament and smite them down. Go to the New Testament and lift them up in my book. And uh, 
And that's how I feel about it. Anyway, it's, it's a family talk today more than anything else. This Blue Dot family is growing. We're getting close to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, so go by there and give a subscription uh, to it. Uh, doesn't cost a dime. Just hit the little subscribe button. You'll, you'll, you'll know every time I post something to YouTube, which is what I put on Facebook first, then YouTube, then Twitter. And, uh, and I got some irons in the fire that are going to boost up some other things. We're going to get my Patreon working back again. We're going to have plenty of contact on that content on that, I feel, pretty soon. Anyway, our family is growing, and it's Christmas time. So Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy everything. Because it's an inclusive world. Believe what you want to believe. But remember the season is for peace on earth and goodwill towards your fellow man. And that's all I ask of you from your religion is peace on earth and goodwill towards your fellow man. Because nowadays, religion brings us a lot of war. And uh, that's just not right. I don't believe anybody's religion preaches war. And, uh, but there are radicals on both sides, on the Christian side and on the, on the Muslim side, that uh, are fanatics. And uh, they are the ones that will demand that you do it. There, God, that's the only way, blah, blah, blah. And that's ridiculous. And that's what I don't want in my country. I don't want it in their country. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. John Brittabo of Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. John Brittabo on Facebook. John Brittabo Speaks is my fan page. Don cooking out there, baby. And uh, on Twitter, at Blue Dot in Texas. Out my truck window and anywhere else we can spread the message. But the message this season is an all-inclusive world. And... Uh, what a wonderful world it is. So let's make it one. See y'all later. Be careful.